Hello everyone, this is Helios Raven, I tell you how I do it, even if you don't care. And this is video 2 of our Helios Ra Raven special on Battlefleet Gothic. We're gonna go with what I what I said in the first video is speed painting. Um, not in the sense of getting it done really fast, but it's really a basic t paint technique that takes a little time that you'll fly through painting all of your miniatures. Now, first thing we do is we get ourselves a base coat. For my Eldar, I use... I did use Midnight Blue, but they don't make that anymore, so... Well, they do. you have to find the old paint company that makes it if you really want it, but um, I was too lazy to find it, so I use Necron Abyss instead. It's actually a little bit better because when you, f when you spray the matte, matte, matte finish on the um, paint, the Midnight Blue tend to bleed into the over the paint the final paint coat so it ended up ruining the model so this is a little bit of an improvement but so what we do first is let me okay so what we can do here first is we have the model all built and assembled we drill out the hole for the for the um flight stand because the hole is too small for this thing to actually sit on there you actually have to drill it out there's no way around that so get your bit set out drill it up and then we start the paint, the base coat of our model. Okay, now our base coat has been finished on the Escort. This is a the Nightshade Destroyer, for those who are wondering what it's called. And now that this is done, we just have to wait for the base coat to dry, so I'll be back once this is done drying, and we can move on to the next step. Hello everyone, we're back. Our base paint on our first job on the model is finished and now we're going to go on to the next part which is putting on the second base coat for the wings which we're using Lich Purple for and so our next step is to get all those tiny crevices on the wings painted up nice and purple so here we go
Now we've painted our second bit, our second primary color. As you notice, I painted over all of the um, spots on the wings just because I know that um, the color I'm using will cover up all of that. So I'm not being too worried once we're finished. So now the next stage, surprisingly, very oddly enough, the next paint that I put on is not the primary color of the base of the model, but the secondary base color because of the way that we're going to do the dry brush technique, we are not going to go anywhere near the wings of this, and it'll give a nice more solid shadows and more permanent color, like I'll show you on this one. Um, no, that one's not a good example. Where is he? I've got a really bad one here. Uh, like on this one, the paint, you see there's little pieces of pewter, because I kind of tried to keep it where the wings weren't touched and so the color wasn't, you know, touching or anything and mixings and that caused for these little edges to go in there. So this style guarantees a nice complete coating of the model. So our next job is to put on the secondary color that is our primary of the model. And for that one, what I'm going to be using is Warlock Purple. There we go. Warlock Purple. And we're just going to apply that to the model. Okay, now I'm now this paint the colors I pick that I pick are going to require a second coating, so I'm going to do that off camera, and when we come back with the second episode, we'll go on to the final stages, and that'll be it for our first for our first video segments of the Balfoury Gothic Edition. Until next time, this is Helios Raven signing off.